What is the chances of that? You're here, and I'm just about to record. Seriously, stay there. I'm going to record a review, and hopefully you'll go away inspired to wear a good fragrance every day, because I'm not a professional, I'm not monetized, I'm not sponsored, not anything like that. I'm just a crazy random guy with a passion and a massive, massive fragrance collection, and the passion I hope to pass on to you so that you are inspired to wear a good fragrance all day, every day. Don't know why the fingers went up there, but all day, every day, you've got to wear a good fragrance, please, please, please. Okay, now, <clears throat> I kind of put fragrances into categories. I have a category where I spray it and I go, mm, not really my thing, not too big a fan of it. And I kind of put those into a certain fragrance sort of category in my mind. Okay, it's only a small collection to be fair. I'm just not fussed with them. And then I spray a fragrance and the next category is like, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I like that, I would wear that. Now that for me is quite a big section of fragrances. You know, where they're very lovable, very wearable, they're just awesome kind of fragrances. And then, and then my friends, there is a category of fragrances. Where literally, I'm mesmerized. For the first five or ten minutes of wearing a fragrance like this one, I don't know what to do with myself. I'm literally, I'm gripped, I'm just entertained with this fragrance. And this fragrance falls into the category that I would seriously just call a wow fragrance. It's the sort of fragrance where every time I wear it, it completely blows me away. It literally picks me up by the seat of my pants and blows me away. This fragrance, this one, that's what it looks like. Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mail Elixir. Okay, this fragrance, okay, it's deep, it's rich, and it is just so, so gripping. It literally, it grips me, and I cannot, cannot stop smelling it. This is next level. This is absolutely incredible. Honestly, I, 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 I'm, I'm gripped. All right, now, if you're interested in things like what it looks like, that's what it looks like. It's a La Male, typical sort of bottle, gold with uh, sort of red inserts or whatever. If you're bothered about the packaging, it comes in a baked bean tin, okay? The only thing you need to know about that is that it is going to go in the recycle with the baked bean tins. <laughs> I've had too many beans. Okay, that's what you need to know about the packaging. Don't put it in the paper recycle, put it in the metal recycle. Okay. Back to this fragrance. Okay. Now, I do not know whether it is because I have grown up on this fragrance, the original La Male. I do not know whether it is because I've grown up on that, that the moment I smell of this beauty, I was like, La Male. And you're gonna go, yeah, Leggy, well, it should be, because, you know, they're related. All right, not necessarily, because when I first smelt one million elixir, even though it blew me away, if someone hadn't have said to me, that's one million elixir, I would not have got the one million bit at all. But this, and I will be honest with you, it is only a whisper. It's not le mail, it's le mail, le mail, and it keeps all the way through this one, it is whispering to me, Le Mail. It is very clear for me, who's grown up with that one, where this one has its origins. Okay, now, for a very short while with this one, you get the sort of slightly minty, very vanilla-y, very lavender-y Le Mail. Okay. That's, seriously, in my nose, that's what I smell when I first smell it. And then, then it's like 
as though someone has got like a ball, if it was possible to have a, a ball of honey, sticky, gloopy honey, you know, fresh from the beehive. It's like that. And it's all as though someone gets this ball of honey and starts sticking more ingredients to it. So they take the lavender and they sort of roll that into this honey and then they take a bit of tobacco. And this, right, this fragrance, this Lamale elixir is so, so dense and so, so compact. You know, a lot of fragrances, the notes are sort of flying off this doesn't, this sort of, it's like putting a blanket on. It is seriously like just covering yourself in sticky, sticky, gloopy, vanillary, lavender, honey, tobacco, tonka. Okay, this fragrance is just so, so dense and rich. Okay. In fact, I'm blown away with this fragrance. There are only two potential downsides. Should we get them out of the way first? All right. The first potential downside is, <laughs> I do not think that I would reach for this in the hot weather. It's just too thick and rich. This is a cooler weather fragrance. And the other downside is that this big one, this 125 millilitres of this gorgeous fluid will cost us here in the UK £100 British money. That's the other potential downside. Okay, we've got the downsides out of the way. This fragrance, it's kind of rich, it's intense, it's sexy. I mean, it is sexy because it is just so, so creamy. I tell you what, right, i tell you what it's like. Picture yourself in a restaurant and you order like a, a syrup sponge pudding. Sir, you know, and the sponge, the vanilla sponge, is saturated with syrup. And then they have a little bit of custard on top as well. And, you know, oh man. And the crazy thing about a pudding is a pudding, once you have ingested it, it's gone. This is so much better than a pudding because you can put it on your skin and you can smell it for hour after hour after hour. Okay, once the pudding is eaten, the memory kind of has gone. This one, now let me tell you, let me tell you about the performance. Because the performance on this one is as good as the smell. For the first two and a half hours, this, like a very thick, dense cloud, does project from you, okay? It's not like, say, Club de Nuit, where literally it's like a, a cloud that sort of, it's almost like a mist that fires off you. This comes off you in a thick, dense cloud, two and a half hours, okay? Anyone sort of in the same sort of area, you know, a good arm's length around you will definitely smell this one coming off you. And then after two and a half hours, it becomes like a thick cloud, but a, a lot closer. And that lasts, seriously, for another five or six hours. Skin, this is there the next morning, closed about three to four days. This stuff is thick and syrupy and gloopy. This is unrelenting in its performance. Absolutely incredible. Okay, so we've done the downsides, we've done the sort of upsides, the smell is absolutely gorgeous. Everyone I have sprayed this for is absolutely, they just go, man, that's gorgeous. I tell you what, it is good enough to eat. <laughs> Seriously, it is so, so good. And if I had to pick a fragrance, I mean, I smell hundreds thousands of fragrances almost every year. You know, whether it's at a fragrance counter or whether I get me samples through the post or whether, you know, people at work bring me a fragrance to smell. I smell so many fragrances. And in 2023 of all the fragrances I have smelt in terms of designer fragrances, this one would be my pick of 23. This literally, although this is designer, I would say it has a real niche, gloopy, thick, kind of so well put together fragrance. This feels niche, 
Okay, absolutely incredible. What else can I tell you about it? I'm gonna say, I mean obviously it's La Male, so it's a men's fragrance. But I know some women are interested as to whether it could potentially be unisex. I'm gonna say it could be, but I think realistically it's designed for a man. I mean look at it, it's a man, look. Okay, it's obvious. Okay, so this realistically is not unisex, even though it is ridiculously sweet. Now, what age group could wear this? You know what? I'm gonna say late teenager upwards, seriously. I think maybe because it's so heavy and rich and sweet that maybe an early teenager would go, oh, I don't know, it's not masculine enough. It is, trust me, this is really ridiculously masculine, but you do have to understand that although it's sweet, 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 it is very masculine. And you know what, right up to the grave, once you've sort of got a grasp, a grasp, a grasp of this one and how sweet and gorgeous it is, this will just do you all the way, okay. Okay, so it's not for the hot weather really, it's cooler weather. It is a bit pricey and we'll come to whether it's worth it in just a moment, okay. I can't really give you any really bad size to this fragrance. It is absolutely gorgeous, okay. Would I recommend you put it into your collection? <laughs> I actually really seriously would. This has got me so many compliments. People around me just go, even if they don't say something, I can tell they're smelling it on me because this stuff, I say, it's like a thick, thick cloud that sits around you and anyone who gets their nose into that cloud can smell elixir coming off you. Okay, now, just before I go, <laughs> can't believe I'm gonna do this. You've probably seen the adverts for this fragrance. I would love, I would love, with your permission, to just do an impression of the advert for this fragrance. Okay, if you go on Jean-Paul Gaultier's website, you will see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm gonna do an impression of the advert for this, and you can see, you can see what I'm doing. All right, seriously, okay, so this is it. Are you ready for my impression of this fragrance? <laughs> okay, all right, seriously, seriously, never again. <laughs> Okay, it's only because I'm not professional I can get away with this sort of thing. Okay, I'm going to love you and leave you now, but please, please, please consider a thumbs up. A thumbs up just says, Leggy, you're talking like a lot of rubbish, son, and you are absolutely crazy, but do us another review, and I will. Okay, and if you would please, please stay safe. But above everything else, the reason why I am here is to inspire you. You, yeah, you. Wherever you are on this beautiful planet, you, my friend, to inspire you, to take a good fragrance and to spray it every single day. Trust me, if you pick something like this and you've got the right season, you will not stop smiling. You will have so much better a day. I'm going to love you and leave you now. So thank you ever so much and uh, goodbye.